Hi, this is Jeff from RowdyRabbit.com. This is not like a normal screencast that I usually do. In this screencast, I will be just demonstrating uh, a program called Blender. And uh, this is what I use for video editing. Uh, you can use it for making video games. You can use it for animation. You can use it for 3D graphics. Uh, it's basically a super powerhouse that I love, and I'm going to be demonstrating it a lot on Rowdy Rabbit in the years to come. So uh, let me just kind of show you what I got here. I was working on a video for uh, rcfunlab.com, and uh, let me just... Uh, and I needed a good video editor in Linux. There's a lot of good video editors out there, but um, like Kden Live, for example, is one of my favorite editors. But the problem is, uh, it kind of crashes a lot for me. Blender, man, they got this this Blender. Uh, you have to get version 2.5 off their uh, off their website, uh, or you can go to uh, they have uh, another place is GraphicAll.org. Won't get into that, but you can get specialized versions of Blender 2.5 on GraphicAll.org. Um, here, I'll just uh, go like this. Graphicall.org. Specialized. Blender. Um, Blender. Uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Uh, program. Uh, maybe like, you know, optimized. That's what I do. I get optimized ones so they run faster on my 64-bit computer. Um, and then, of course, Blender.org, you can go get Blender. Um, so that's that. Okay, let me make that. I guess you can't really... I don't know, whatever. Okay, there it is. Let me put that over here. Um, so uh, for the video editor here, uh, you've got a nice, a nice screen up in this area uh, where you can preview uh, the videos you're working on. Down in this area here, uh, you got different clips representing the different uh, movies that I shot on the, on the video camera. Um, these pink ones are effects, like this is a speed up effect or slow down effect. Um, and then uh, this is a color bar, it's a, just a black bar that I have fading in and out over here. Uh, here's an image that I imported, um, you know, of, my, of burningtoken.com, my, my uh, media company record label. And, uh, and then in the beginning, uh, I have another video that actually shows all of the video, all these strips uh, in little boxes going across with three logos on the top. And over here, you have a, a, a graph editor, which uh, this purple line, for example, is the opacity of this clip here. So uh, as we move forward, and, and that's... Uh, that's my logo. So as we move forward, the logo slowly blends in according to this purple line. Uh, the red line is the opacity of the black bar. I actually have a black, a total blackness fading in uh, so that it kind of fades to black a little bit first before the logo comes in. Uh, so there, anyway, so you can, you can uh, totally change these curves around so that uh, you could... Uh, move their shapes. I think I have, oh, there we go. You, you can uh, move the shapes around, draw different curves. You can add different points in there. Uh, you can, it, For the people who already know video editing, you can basically, this is a really awesome curves for your keyframe. So you, uh, you get all sorts of things that are um, animatable in Blender. Um, so I just uh, animated the opacity of certain things. Uh, I think uh, one of these effects here I have animated the saturation of some of my clips. Uh, this one? Let's see here, I should have. Yeah, the, see how saturation is green? That means there's keyframes on it. Um, so, uh, we won't get into that right now, though. Um, now I want to show you another aspect of Blender, and that's how I did this part here. Because I did all this video in Blender as, as well. It just only shows up as a clip. Um, that's because I did it in... Come on. There we go. Okay, I did it in a, a different Blender instance here. Um, so this is the clip in Blender here. And see, uh, now this is going to trip you out if you haven't seen 3D. This is actually how I made it. I have a camera and three planes moving along those images in the background. And those images 
are actually representative of uh, of the movies playing. Um, I could switch over to a different mo uh, mode here, which is a lot slower. And you can see that actually, as I switch frames, all of those videos change too. Anyways, uh, so that's basically Blender is you can, you can put all these different objects out here and then you can move them all around and then you could animate the movement. Uh, you could animate the size of them. You can animate the rotations of them. I, my This uh, animation that I did was very simple in the beginning. So, I mean, it, it's a very simple animation. I didn't have to do all that other stuff there. Um, you know, so now they move like that. Uh, well, anyways, um, that's an overview of Blender. Not much. Uh, let me just show you this in the video editor here. Uh, you've got, you can, any resolution you want, you can pick different frame rates. Uh, you can output to different uh, kinds of uh, video, MPEG, H.264, XVEGOG, Theora, AVIs. Um, and then you can pick, uh, right here I have, let's see here, how can I show you? I have an audio codec, you can pick different ones. I have an MP3 set at 192. So anyway, so you can really change a lot of your video settings. Blender is pretty cool. And uh, you can even output to, um, to uh, where, where am I at here? Uh, there. Uh, you can even output to images, JPEG, Bing, uh, EXR, multiplayer images, if you knows what those are. And you get the point. Uh, they do have uh, network rendering too. So if you have a whole bunch of computers, you can link them all up and have it, uh, you know, um, render out your video frames. You can have five computers working on one job, so that's kind of nice. Even if you have old computers, sometimes it's nice to hook those up because uh, they'll help out a little bit. And Okay, guys, uh, have a good one.